Hi guys, uh, Mundi here. So I'm back with uh, another video, and I hope you guys are subscribing and telling all your friends to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that uh, I can keep creating such content. Because what's the point of creating content if you don't have an audience? So uh, I'm just going to show you a few um, items that I just uh, received and uh two that i just bought today and then i'll do a small comparison for one of the perfumes that uh live in my collection yeah so to start with i'm just going to talk about uh, this body mist that i bought today so this is by paris secret i don't know they call it paris secret uh, it's a body mist called uh, Broom uh, Coppel. I don't know if it's Broom Coppel, but it's just sweet vanilla. And uh, this body mist just has caramel and vanilla. I first saw this uh, body mist with uh, my aunt, uh, Mwembe. She uses this body mist and I tried, I actually used it the first, uh, for the first time, I think that was uh, six months ago and I decided I'll buy it the day I'll see it. So I saw it in uh, a shop where they usually sell cosmetics. If you live in Mongo, it's called Civil Cosmetics, but this can be found in any pharmacy like for those who live in Lola it's there in uh, uh, ADS then it's most it's found in almost all the pharmacies so this body mist it's what it impressed me with the longevity and how sweet it is I think it's perfect for mixing or layering with other perfumes I, I can't see myself just wearing a body mist on its own so this is vanilla vanille and caramel yeah we call it vanilla but it's vanille and caramel so it's it's quite good it's good for layering especially with sweet perfumes but i wouldn't advise you to wear this right now because we're in summer and the heat the heat usually ampl amplifies uh sweet perfumes and they just become also strong and irritating even to yourself so i'm reserving this for winter so uh the next perfume that i got i think the sun is too much outside you wouldn't see it so maybe i'll bring it a bit close it comes in this pouch this is called everyone it's by la miss uh, creation la miss i'll just remove it from the pouch just to show you how the bottle looks like so this is a unisex perfume and i would encourage all the gents to to get it if you it's also found it's also a drugstore perfume it can be found i found it in civil cosmetics here in mongo but it's also found in indola in most of the pharmacies um there's also that cosmetics shop uh in chapasuka building just below the the ground floor of chapasuka building in indola so it comes in a bottle that is shaped like one and it's called everyone and you can see the symbols for the female and male it's a unisex perfume but it's perfect for me i don't shy away from uh unisex perfumes this i first smelled this on a guy and it's quite long lasting i first smelled it on a guy and i loved it and decided no that I just need to have it as well, even though it's uh, a car, uh, un it's a unisex perfume. I actually didn't know that it was a unisex perfume. I thought it was just a perfume for uh, men. Uh, the beauty about this is it's an all year round perfume. It's very with the heat. That's why I got it today. With the heat, it works perfect. Uh, they also have a version, an intense version. I think that can be worn in summer. But I, for this, I strongly feel it's an all-year-round scent. But yeah, if you're a guy, I encourage you to, to try this one. 
so this one just has top notes of bergamot i know i told you that i won't be talking about uh, notes but i couldn't find the accords for this i only found uh, the notes so it has bergamot which makes it a little bit sweet that's why even a woman can pull it off then uh, it has uh, pineapple in the middle and it has green tea uh, in the dry down so it's quite fresh and perfect for summer so if you're a gentleman or you're a lady like me who's not scared to try unisex perfumes i would encourage you to try this one everyone by Lamis creation it's like also i saw a youtuber mentioned that this could be a dupe for ck1 the only bad uh, downside to ck1 is the longevity so this is a dupe that lasts a bit longer so the next perfume i mentioned this perfume in my previous video um the first not the previous video the first empties video that i posted this is zara black amber uh, i mentioned that this is leaving my collection it's a very good perfume it's long lasting for especially for a zara perfume it's quite long lasting it's perfect for winter i wouldn't wear it in this heat so black amber is said to be a dupe for um dolce and but uh gabbana the one and the reason i'm only giving this one out is because i now have dolce and gabbana the one so this perfume is fruity it's sweet it's yeah it's a bit powdery but not so much it smells it smells like a bit like bubble gum to me that's just to, that's how i i that's the vibe i get for, from this but it's quite good don't wear it in summer it's for uh, winter so now since i'm uh, the perfume that is replacing this one in my collection is a uh, dolce and gabbana the one so this is a collector's edition uh that's why it's in a different uh box sorry for the noise so it comes in a red bottle let me just remove it so that's how the bottle looks like there's no difference between this one and the original the one it's just a collector's uh, bottle so it's it's also fruity it's sweet uh, it's, it's also a bit powdery but yeah so i wore this just to test it out i wore it on my skin for just about 30 minutes so that i could give my unbiased opinion in regards to the comparison with uh, zara black black amber I need to mention the notes are uh, quite different between this one and black amber uh, black amber has a bit of musk and some citrus notes in them but the one just has fruity balsamic vanilla powdery white floral and a bit of citrus so when i wore them uh, side by side on my skin they just they smelled the same to me so i'm yet to wear it for a full day but as of now they still smell the same so there are no regrets in uh, uh, getting rid of the black amber so uh, when i bought uh, the one uh, the person who was selling it to me also decided to give me an extra bottle this is a cambacela <laughs> so it's only it's a it's a partial it's only half uh not even half i think one third i only have one third of uh, the perfume in the bottle it's a 30 ml so one third i just have like 10 mils of it so this is the one desire the one desire is has caramel it's a bit balsamic it's vanilla tuberose it's fruity and it's sweet 
so this one as well this one the the original the one the collector's edition they're all being packed i'll pack them away until winter because i have um perfumes that i'm wearing for summer so this ends my small haul i hope you enjoyed seeing the perfumes that i'm adding to my collection please leave a comment let me know what type of videos you'd like to see uh right now i'm thinking of doing a perfume about uh, a perfume video on unisex perfumes in my collection because i'm i've started falling in love with unisex perfumes especially niche ones although i can't afford them right now but yeah i want i'm thinking of doing a unisex uh, perfume video i'm also thinking of doing a summer perfumes video because so far most of the ones that i've shown you are sweet fruity perfumes which you cannot wear right now since we're in summer so leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see okay thank you guys bye